All right, so I'm going to teach you guys the Peterson roll now, okay? So the Peterson roll, it starts with a sit-out. So what a sit-out is, uh, is I'm going to open up this, my, my outside hip, which is outside means the side that he's not on. I'm going to knee slide through, it sits my butt, okay? I've seen another way of sitting out where it's called like you winch your light, which is like you bring your ankles this way and then sit out like that, and that, that works too. Or you can just go uh, lift up that outside uh, hip or knee and just knee slide through to sit out, okay? So the sit out brings up, or there's a lot of opportunities you can do with the sit out, um, and this is just one of them, okay? So Mike is uh, gonna put pressure into me, and I'm gonna get control of one of his hands. Right now I'm choosing this hand, okay? I'm gonna bring it tight, tight to my chest, real tight. And then I'm gonna roll to my head, uh, to the left side of the head. You're gonna roll away from this, the side you have it. So if I have it on this side, I would go that way. If I have it on this side, I'm gonna go that way. And you can tell, because uh, the index finger pointer you make that that's it tells you the which way you're going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll to my head, boom, just like that. And get my butt up. Once I get my butt up, I'm gonna roll to, or sit my right hip to the mat. And as I sit my right hip, my left arm is gonna go through his leg. I'm gonna bring him right there. Okay. So as you can see, Mike is right here. And I got him on his back, so that's why I have the five point move. I just got a reversal. Once I get right here, it's a reversal. Once I hold him right here for five seconds, I'll get my three points. Two plus three, five points, so it's a five point move, okay? I'm gonna sit my back into him, and he's gonna be fighting, he's gonna be fighting, okay? I can use this hand that's on the leg and grab right there, okay? So once I sit here, um, I'm gonna get my points. Once I get my points and it's, say it's close to the end of the match, I might just sit here if I'm winning. If not, I might need to score more points. I might have to let him go or whatever. But if I can, I'm just going to sit right here. And then if I can go for the pen, I'm just going to keep this hand on his wrist. And then I'm going to go for his head. Bring his head real close, okay? And then I can turn into him or just, or just keep the headlock right there, okay? The other thing I can do is I want to keep this arm, but I can let go of it this way. And turn into him this way, but keep that arm. And then go towards his head. That's not very comfortable for him either. Okay? So that's the Pearson roll. Um, practice it because it's a big move. And you can learn a lot, or you can use a lot uh, in your matches. Alright? So one more time, quick. I do my sit up, boom. And I'm right here. Uh, one more last thing is the defense to the Peterson roll. So if if uh, you feel that someone's doing the Peterson roll on you, uh, then what you do is you just throw in the hat, okay? So right here he's going to roll me, but I'm just throwing in the hat right here. He can't really roll me because he's going to roll right to his back. Right there, okay? Pretty simple, just when they go to that, uh, that Peterson roll, just throw in the hat on the side that, or as they're throwing it, okay? Pretty simple.